Hi guys, welcome. So we're going to do a video on uh, changing the EGR valve on a BMW 330. This is a 2005 model. So uh, to get to the EGR valve, it's uh, under the plastic cover. So we're going to take off the uh, five mil cap heads. So you got one, two, three, four, and five of them. So I'm going to whiz them out. Um, take off part of the uh, the air intake this plastic here yeah, this one wasn't secured in properly because I need to get two new ones uh, basically it just zips out and then you've just got a little button you push on the side just push that in and then this just pulls out so I'm going to remove, remove those two items and show you the next stage so we can now see the EGR valve so uh, I'm going to loosen off this screw which secures these two parts together with a sort of clamp um, pop out this, just get a flat edge screwdriver underneath and lift that out and then we've got another four cap heads two at the top, two at the bottom uh, the most difficult to one to get is the one directly underneath this one underneath there um, so tools for the job will be uh, 5mm cap head on a small extension and I've also got a little flexi joint to uh, help me get to that, that bottom cap head um, there's a plan B I've got one of these as well because it's a bit more flex and obviously you can use a 5mm um, socket end to get that cap head out uh, and obviously a flat head screwdriver for undoing your, your screw and just to lift that up so obviously you can pull pull that pipe off and then that give you a bit more access to get to the bottom cap head so I'm going to loosen off the clamp remove the pipe and the four cap heads and with these tools you should be able to do that quite easy okay one thing I forgot to mention was there's a small pipe which um, just goes on the uh, part of the UG valve there so just pull that out um, and then it's free to remove so uh, the only challenging bolt was the one underneath but I've got it out so now we can replace with the new EGR valve you may also just want to give your EGR valve a clean um, with some WD-40 or something similar and get like a wire brush in there just to give it a good clean um, I did attempt cleaning this one because it was more clogged up than that but, um, so I will keep it just in case because um, you never know might want to revert back so we'll see what happens okay so when you're uh, putting it back together I recommend obviously getting uh, get your top one in first and then go to the diagonal side and get that bottom one in and that's where your, your flex comes into play again uh, probably get the gun on that to tighten that up uh, obviously not too tight but tight enough and don't forget your, your rubber gasket that goes in just behind the AGR valve and obviously your little clamp get everything loosely in position so it all lines up and then uh, tighten everything up and, uh, and that'll be it, job done so uh, I'll tighten everything up and uh, see how it looks Okay, there we are. So it's all lined up, all the bolts tightened. Um, so I'm just going to start her up, make sure nothing comes on that shouldn't be. And uh, that is it. Nice, easy job. About 20 minutes. So there we go, guys. All the covers back installed. Um, I'll need to get one more plastic clip. Busted one of them. But it's all lined up nice with the airflow intake and the covers back in place. Ticking over lovely. So thanks for watching, please subscribe.